In this video, uh, we are going to discuss about uh, the topic on uh, instantaneous power and uh, average power. So, what is instantaneous power? Is the uh, it is a power that is absorbed by the element. So, usually, I can uh, represent the instantaneous power as uh, p of t. Okay, so the p of t value is equal to uh, v of t into i of t where uh, v of t is something but uh, uh, instantaneous voltage uh, across that element and uh, i of t is something but uh, uh, instantaneous current that is flowing through it so generally you can see the instantaneous power is um, uh, it is difficult to measure why? Because uh, this power is uh, change with respect to time. So therefore, we have to go for average power. So the usually the instantaneous power is uh, measured in terms of uh, watts, and it is a power at any instant of time. So why the power analysis is more important is. Uh, the power uh, is the most important quantity in uh, electric utilities, uh, electronics and communication systems. Because uh, the system uh, involves uh, transmission of power from uh, one point to another. So, you, you can see example like a fan uh, and the fridge TV uh, is having a power rating. Okay. So, if uh, the equipment exceed the power rating, okay, if we supply the power which will exceed the power rating means uh, it causes uh, permanent damage to the appliances. Right? So, uh, we can write the V of T is equal to Vm cos uh, omega T plus uh, del V. And I of T is equal to IM cos omega T plus uh, uh, angle I. So the symbol is uh, represent angle. So P of T is equal to VM IM cos uh, omega T plus uh, uh, theta V cos omega T plus uh, theta I. Theta I. Okay. So we know that cos A cos B is equal to 1 divided by 2 cos uh, A minus B, right? Uh, plus uh, cos A plus B. So we know that the cos here, cos uh, uh, omega T plus. Uh, delta V cos omega T plus T tai that is equal to 1 divided by 2 cos uh, omega theta V minus uh, T tai uh, plus cos uh, 2 omega T plus uh, theta V plus T tai So, I am going to substitute in P of T. P of T is equal to Vm Im uh, divided by 2 into cos uh, theta V minus theta I plus um, uh, Vm Im divided by 2 into cos uh, 2 omega T plus uh, theta V uh, plus uh, theta I minus theta I. So, I can term, uh, I can see the, this is the equation for instantaneous uh, power and it has uh, two terms, right? So, this is your first term and you can see this term is uh, independent of time. There is no T term here, but uh, you can see in the second term, second part you have a T, right? Uh, so, If I want to find the average power, why uh, I'm going for uh, average 
power means it is uh, very much convenient to measure. Uh, since the instantaneous power changes with the time, it is difficult to measure. So you can see here the frequency is uh, twice the uh, two times the omega t. So the time is uh, half of the uh, half of it. Okay. So since it is a cost term, uh, this term is a periodic one, right? Uh, so I can write um, p of t is equal to p of t plus uh, t by two. Uh, average power, uh, it's also it's measured in watts. It is the average of the instantaneous power over one period. So, the average power, uh, capital P, is given as P is equal to 1 divided by T, uh, integration of 0 to T, uh, in the P of T, uh, of DT, P of T into DT. So, you can see, uh, this P of term is, one term is independent of time, and another term is uh, dependent on time. So, the term which is uh, independent of time is nothing but the, Average power. Why? Because um, the, uh, since the cost term, um, the cost term is uh, positive for the half of the time period, and uh, it becomes negative for the another half of the time period. So, if I take average of these two one, uh, it becomes zero. Okay. So the second uh, part uh, will goes to zero when we uh, go for a average power okay so the cost term uh, with the um, uh, cost term which is uh, dependent on time uh, it will it will goes to zero when we calculate for the uh, average power Okay, so I can write uh, P of T, that is, um, otherwise speak, uh, okay, instantaneous uh, power uh, is um, difficult to measure, right, uh, because it is changing with the time. Here the average power uh, we uh, for average power, we need to calculate for the uh, reactive power and also for the resistive pure uh, resistive circuit. Okay, so man, first uh, let us uh, uh, if I make the second term to zero, so the average power, uh, right? So the average power becomes. Uh, P of T is equal to 1 divided by 2 Vm Im cos uh, theta V minus theta I. Okay. So, what is the uh, resistive load means? Uh, resistive load means uh, which absorbs uh, power all the times. Where the, if I use a reactive load, that is uh, inductance or capacitance, uh, which absorbs uh, uh, zero average power. Okay. So, this is the equation uh, we have obtained for the average power. Okay. You can see Vm Im by 2, I can write it as Vm by root 2 into Im by root 2. Right, uh, so this is nothing. I can also write P of T is equal to V R M S I R M S into cos uh, uh, theta V minus theta I. So for purely resistive network, so usually you can see there is no phase difference between uh, voltage and uh, current for the resistor. So both the theta value is equal. So if I substitute the theta value, that is theta V is equal to theta I. It becomes cos zero. What is cos zero? Cos zero is nothing but um, one, right? So if I substitute cos zero equal to one, 
uh, I will get P of T, yeah, that is average power is equal to Vm Im divided by 2. So instead of Vm, I am going to substitute Im into Rl. Okay, so it becomes Im square Rl divided by 2. This is your average power for purely resistive network. Next, for um, a reactive network. A reactive network means the inductance and capacitance. Okay, so for that one, you can see the del V is a del V, um, sorry, del. Um, theta v and theta i are uh, 90 degree phase uh, difference between them so i can uh, take the difference as 90 okay either it is cos 90 or cos minus 90 so both are the same so you will get vm im uh, divided by 2 into cos uh, 90 so what's, what is cos 90 cos 90 is 0 okay so the average power for the reactive network uh, is 0 So next uh, we will discuss on problem on uh, this topic. Okay. So the first problem is uh, uh, they have given uh, the value of uh, Vt. Okay. So Vt is equal to 120 cos uh, 377t plus 45 degree that is usually measured in terms of volt right so this is the instantaneous voltage and uh, instantaneous current is 10 cos uh, 377t minus 10 degree uh, it is usually measured in terms of uh, amps ampere so they are asking find the instantaneous power and the average power which is observed by the passive linear network. Yes. So we know the formula for the um, ins instantaneous power, right? So P of T is equal to V of T into I of T. So first let us multiply these two values of uh, V of T and I of T. So you can see for the instantaneous power, uh, uh, what is not dependent on time, that is uh, average power. Okay, so we will get 120 into 10 cos uh, 377t plus 45 degree into cos uh, 377t minus 10 degree. So it is 1200. So, 1200 divided by 2, all right? Thousand two hundred divided by 2. So, I'm going to write it as cos uh, A. Cos A is 377T plus 45 minus 377T plus uh, 10 degree, right? So here the uh, you will get uh, forty five plus okay. So you should not get confused. Uh, so uh, what is cost fifty five? Uh, you, you can use a calculator to find the value of this one. Plus um, uh, thousand two hundred divided by two into cost a cost uh, a is three seventy seven t plus forty five. Uh, plus 377t minus 10 so you will get 754t no. plus 35 okay. okay so here the first term is average power right and this total term is instantaneous power so 600 costs uh, 55 plus uh, 600 costs uh, 754 t plus 35 okay so this is nothing but the uh, instantaneous power and uh, you can see 600 costs uh, 55 degrees uh, 
average power and uh, this is usually measured in terms of uh, watts so in to find the value of average power so this uh, we have already find out uh, 600 cos uh, 55 degree right uh, then you know that the second part will go to zero right so the answer of this one is um, so you use calculators and so you will get 344.2 okay so next uh, we will go for the another problem okay so here the uh, resistor and uh, capacitance is given okay so we need to find the uh, power absorbed or uh, delivered by each the each of the element okay so so you can see R, R values for ohm and uh, capacitance values J minus J two. Okay. So from this one, I can find the value of current rate. So the question is uh, find the average power. So usually the power uh, supplied that is uh, delivered is equal to power absorbed. Okay. So power delivered, so the total power must be equal to zero. So whether uh, here the power is uh, uh, supplied or observed uh, by the voltage source, we need to find. Okay. And uh, uh, you need to find the uh, power observed by the resistor. Okay. So first. Uh, here I have a voltage and uh, one impedance, right? So I can find I. I is equal to V by Z, right? So V is uh, 5 uh, angles 30 and uh, divide by 4 minus J2. So here the denominator term can be converted into another form, right? So it can be written as 4.472 angle is uh, minus 26.57. So these two get uh, cancelled out and you will get 1.118. So 30 plus 26 minus 557. So that is nothing but 1.18 into 56.56. Uh, so this is your right. So for voltage source, I have find out the value of, uh, uh, to find the value of uh, average power, I can uh, uh, write P of T is equal to V of T into I of T. So the V of T is 5 into 5 and 30 degrees here uh, faced uh, right. So here you can see the power uh, usually it will deliver the power right. Since so it is a voltage source uh, it has to deliver the power. So you can write 5 into 1.118, right, uh, so divided by 2 into cos uh, uh, theta v minus uh, theta i, right. So this is a power uh, delivered by the vortices. So next, uh, if you see the, um, if I want to find the, this value is uh, minus uh, 2.5 volt watts. So next, uh, you have one capacitor. The capacitor the average power is zero, say, right? So next, if I want to find the current flowing through the resistor, that is I of T, right? Uh, so. We have already find out the value of I of T, so that will remain as same. That is 1.118 angle is uh, 56.57 degree, and the uh, voltage across is uh, resistor, and that is uh, so the voltage across the resistor is 4 into I of T, right? So you will get uh, 
फोर फोर इंट आई ऑफ टी एस इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट फोर सेवन टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सेवेंटी ओके सो नाउ आई कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ पावर दट इज फोर पॉइंट फोर सेवन टू इंटू वन पॉइंट वन वन एट डिवाइड बाई टू एंड कास्ट ऑफ फिफ्टी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सेवन माइनस फिफ्टी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सेवन सो दट इज नथिंग बट वन सो वी गेट आंसर एज टू पॉइंट फाइव सो हियर द पावर गेट अपसाउट सो द वोट इज सोर्स विल डिलीवर द पवर एंड द रेजिस्टर विल अब्सर्व द पवर सो द टू पॉइंट फाइव वोट जनरेटेड बै दोलटेज सोर्स अब्सर्व बै दिसट सो वट हाव विल हैपन टू दैपासिटर द कैपासिटर विल नाट अब्सर्व एनी पवर सो दट वैल्यू इज जीरो The average power of the capacitor is zero. Okay, so this uh, will follow the law of conservation of energy. Okay. So I can write the power delivered by the voltage sources. Uh, Entirely absorbed by the resistor. The thought. Things uh, for the capacitor. Uh, since it is a reactive network, uh, the average power value is equal to zero. So I can write two point five watt is equal to. 2.5 पॉइंट फाइव वाट सो द टोटल पवर इन द सर्क्यूट इज सीर ओके